Hey guys, thought I would do a video and I figured it might as well be something that has some content to it. I'm doing this video from my iPhone 6 Plus and I wanted to see if it can actually keep up with the focus like it's supposed to. Like holding something up, will it stay in focus or will it change on me and do that quick, crazy blurry mess? Hopefully not. Uh, usually when people buy pH probes they know what to do, but I just feel like this PSA is necessary. When you buy a new pH probe from the different kind of manufacturers, they almost always have a cover on the end. It could be a little rubber boot, or in this case, it's a small jar that has been tight tightened around it with a little bit of liquid inside. Or it should have some liquid. I've had this for a while. <laughs> so when you get it out of the package, you have to take off any protective wrap, remove the boot off the end of the tip so you can actually see the metal probes inside, and that is what goes in the water. I've had a few people over the years tell me my pH reading is wrong, and it was because they didn't take off the protective cap that's only there during transportation. Normally, when you have a pH probe, you should leave it inside the water all the time. If you do plan to remove it um, for some reason, uh, like maybe you're going to someone's home and you want to use your meter on their system, then put it in that little protective case with some water. Uh, you could use RO water or you could use some tank water, and that way it doesn't dry out and damage it. That's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to give this a shot and I hope that it came out because I don't want to edit forever. <laughs>